Hello everyone, my name is Adil. And how do you pronounce my name? It's like Adil as as in a business deal. So Adil, if that makes any sense. Anyways, uh so I I'm writing an article uh, about generating an HTML table using Node.js. Uh, writing a script that automatically generates a huge table for you and based on that HTML table that you just created using nothing but Node.js you can create up a PDF file using Google Puppet uh, using a tool called Google Puppeteer. Uh, before you start reading this article I felt that there were some concepts that uh, I felt were necessary in order for you to like start with this article so I'll just start with them. I'll just start with that. Uh, the first thing is that I would really like you to understand is please ignore all of this. Uh, just just have this in your focus. This file called understanding.js. Uh, you can follow along if you want. The first thing that I will do is sorry. I will require a now this this library is built in into node.js you don't need anything else this is basically uh, fs is basically file system which is a way for node.js to interact with your machine read and write nothing else so fs has a method called write file sync in which it takes in two arguments the first is the path so I will give it a path. I will call it food.txt and then the content. I, I will call it I am a human machine. I don't know if I've got the if, is, if it's grammatically correct. But then I will run it in my browser, in my terminal by just giving it a path and See, it just creates up this file called I'm a human machine. The other thing that uh, once we can write a file, we need, we need to know how to delete that particular file. So we have unlink sync, which takes in a path to delete a file. Now, please notice this this foo.txt when I run this script this should go and it did so you can delete a file but what if you wanted to get uh, some metadata about the file as in its size or when it was created and stuff like that so fs uh, what was it called uh, I think it was called stat sync all right foo.txt and what I can do is cost information console dot log information of file is now this will crash because we don't have a file and Node.js doesn't have an elegant way of like exiting exiting from this if it doesn't file this file path because we just deleted it so it might crash oh it does crash all right so just for the sake of this i'll just create a file again and you see this this information for the file that we've just created uh one thing that i can do is i can import another built-in utility library in node it's called path which is Again, a way for Node.js to elegantly handle the path system on our machines. So I will pass in a const file path so that I don't have to write foo.txt again and again. Path.resolve. So what path.resolve does is uh, this will give you the absolute directory of that particular file system. I, I'll show show that to you in a bit. Console.log file path 
okay once we write that file i want to see the information on that file all right now i can just replace it with this and also for this this will create create a file and write to it this will delete that file so delete create since we already have that information so run the script again everything works now what if we don't have that file uh we delete that by mistake this is what happens because it, it just throws an error so one thing that I, I i discovered using this method is uh something that we can do something like this we can wrap our So dot log file does not exist. I am sorry. And what if we run this again? Now this should give us an error. Oh, see. So uh, two things. Path dot is all. What it does is it will give you an absolute path for the path that you provided. And Wrapping this in try catch, simply uh, what, what it does is simply tell uh, uh, elegantly handles if the file is not present. Another cool thing that you can do with this uh, is function does file exist. All right, this can work. And if it's able to process this, if it doesn't throw an error, I'll just return true here. Otherwise, I'll return false. And what do I do now? Sorry. All right. If it if the file exists, I'll return true. If it's not, then I'll return false. So what I can do is console.log does file exist file the file path i just copy this if file exists success we are doomed and let's run this script and see it says we're doomed but what if we have a file it says success because we have a file and let's run this again it should say success because we have that file so uh four things that we've like covered in this small video uh one is uh writing to a file with content with the right file sync the other is deleting a file giving you provide a file path to it the third one was uh, using fs.statsync to get information about a file and if the file path does not exist, how to like elegantly handle that null error. And using fs.statsync, which is kind of a hacky thing, uh, we can like write, make a function that tells us, uh, uh, that just returns us true or false if a, if a certain file exists or not. And, and yeah, uh, we also learned about path.resolve, which is uh, a way in which you provide a fa file path and you can get an absolute file path in return and hopefully with this in mind when you watch this tutorial things will make more sense and yeah that's pretty much it thank you have a good day bye